Welcome to Bitty Bum Boutique TV. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make this really cute little turtle hair clip. Um, so let's get started with the supplies we're going to need. You're going to need a couple different lengths and widths of ribbon for this turtle hair clip. We're going to start with the quarter inch wide ribbon. You're going to need two pieces of that cut to four inches and that is going to be for the legs of the turtle. So I'm using green for my legs. So that's quarter inch wide cut to four inches and you need two of those. For the head of the turtle, you're going to need 3 8 inch wide ribbon cut to 2 and a half inches. And that is for the head, so again, that's I'm using green. Then for the body of your turtle, the polka dotted ribbon here, you need four pieces cut to 2 and a half inches, and this is also 3 8 inch wide ribbon. You're going to need a lined alligator clip or a clip of your choice. You're going to need a lighter to heat seal your ends two little tiny googly eyes for your turtle's head and then of course your glue gun. So let's get started. First thing we're going to do is make the body of our turtle. One more thing that I left out, you are it is going to be handy to have an extra um, I just use an alligator clip but um, something that can hold the things together while you're working with them especially for the body. So an extra alligator clip will come in handy. So to make the body, the first thing we're going to do is glue our first piece all the way around into a circle. So that's where I was saying this is handy because it can get kind of tight to get it around there. So if you have this clip to hold it, then you, it's easier to bring this around and then just glue it down. So I'm going to go ahead and put some glue right here on the edge and then bring my other edge around and just glue it and you're just going to overlap it just a tiny bit. So just a little bit of an overlap and you have your first circle just like that. Now we're going to go ahead and add our next circle and we're just going to go right across like this. So you're going to glue, put some glue here at the seam and then put the, the next piece halfway across this, this, um, the first circle. So it's just going to go right there. And again, this is where the alligator clip comes in handy to, so you're not holding it up here and trying to glue. You can just kind of let it be suspended away from your hands and it makes it a lot easier to glue. So now we're going to wrap this one around and we're going to meet it over here. So obviously you're first going to put your glue. You might need to switch sides with your alligator clip. And now we're just going to bring that one around and meet it up. So we're not going to overlap this ribbon, we're just going to meet it up and you're just going to squish it down. So those two pieces met together right at the seam of your first piece. So now you have like a cross there with those two. Now you're going to go ahead and hold it again with your alligator clip and then we're going to add the next piece and we're going to add this one right so it's going to fill in this space right here so it's going to go all the way around and fill in this way and then the last one will fill, fill in that way so we're going to go ahead and add our glue right here and attach that piece and then this is where if you don't want to squish it the alligator clip could come in handy to kind of get those squished together there. Oops, except you don't want to glue your alligator clip. There we go. And now we're going to glue the other side. So it's going to come around and it's going to meet right up with the first pe the piece we just glued. It's a little tricky the more you add here. Just need that to meet up right there. There we go. Okay, so now we have three of our pieces, and you kind of have to go back in there and move them around a little. Okay, and so we have one more piece which is going to fill in this space right here. So I'm going to put my alligator clip there again, just to hold it. 
add some glue. Just like that, and then this one's going to come around. So I'm going to switch my alligator clip to the other side. Or you can just hold it if you want. It's up to you. I just need this one to get right up there. So I'm going to kind of hold it with my finger while I put the glue. And then I can attach it. And your circles might not be perfect while you're still gluing all of them, but once you're done, then you can kind of adjust them. So there we go. So now we have the body of our turtle. I want that one to go there. You can kind of mess with them. There we go. Just kind of have to play with them and adjust. There you go. So now you have the body or the shell of your turtle. So next part we're going to do is our feet, our legs of the turtle. And we're going to make um, two legs at a time. So we're going to take one piece of our green four quarter inch ribbon. And we're going to fold it in half and make a crease just so we can kind of see where the middle is. And then that's going to help us make sure that our legs are even with both pieces. So for the legs, we're going to do this figure eight, and you're going to meet up your ribbon in the middle like this. Oops, wrong way. And so the main thing you want to make sure you get out of this is that you want this part right here to have that shape. So um, you don't want it to be, I'm going to show you what you don't want it to be. You don't want it to go like this, and you don't want it to go like that. You just you want it to have this shape. So both um, the same side is facing up, if that makes sense. And once you once you're messing with it, you'll understand what I mean. But you want the same side facing up on both ends. So once you have that figure eight shape. You're going to just go in with your glue gun and, a, and add a little glue. Once you know you have them even, then you can just... My glue gun has that really fine tip so I can just, you know, get it right in there and then glue it and then I don't have to glue as I go. So then I know I have it even. So then you're just going to do the same thing with the other ribbon. Fold it in half, make a crease and then make that figure eight shape, bringing both ends to your crease in the middle. And then you just want to make sure they're even, same kind of shape as your other one that you did. Again, just get your glue gun in there, get a little bit of glue to keep those together, just like that. And now we're going to attach them, the two feet together. So what you're going to do for that is you're going to cross them over like that. So we're going to just put some glue in the middle and then cross them over. And you want them to kind of, you know, separate right there. You don't want them real close together. You want a good like it like that. You want the feet to be a little separated so it looks like feet once you add the body because the body's going to go on just like that. So all that's left is to make our head. We have our feet, we have our body, now we're going to make our head. For the head you have to, we're going to go ahead and heat seal the end that we're going to roll. You can heat seal both ends but you definitely want to heat seal the end that you're going to tuck under. So if you can see in the example here, I'm going to turn it to the side, that the, this piece is curled and then it goes down and attaches to the, to the body and then attaches underneath the, the body or the shell. So that's where this is going to come in handy here, your little um, alligator clip again. So we're going to roll it. You can kind of even, you know, make it flat because once you let go, it's going to 
you know, circle up. It's not going to stay flat. So what I did here is I, once I have the circle, then I have the alligator clip on one side, and then I can just move away that bottom piece to glue it. So I'm just going to get my glue in on one side, and then I can move the alligator clip to do the other side. And you'll see once you're doing it why the alligator clip definitely comes in handy because it just gets a little too squishy with your fingers when you're dealing with small objects that you're, small pieces of ribbon that you're gluing. Okay, so now once you have the head there, I'm going to go ahead and glue the eyes on. And these are really tiny googly eyes. So again, I'm going to hold it with my alligator clip, and I'm just going to put some glue right on the, the face there, kind of almost to the edge. The size googly eyes I have just fit on this, on this um, width of ribbon. And you don't want to put too much because you don't want it you know, squirting out the sides of the eye too much, but you do want enough to where they're going to stay on here. You don't want them falling off. Get that, the strings of glue. Okay, and you can kind of, once they've sat there for a minute, just push them down. And then, sorry, there's a piece of glue there that I was putting. Okay, so now we're going to attach the we're going to take our body and you just kind of decide which way you want it to face. And I'm going to go ahead and glue the head onto the shell or the body. And it's going to go about right right under that middle middle piece of ribbon. Okay. And again, you don't want too much glue, but you do want enough that it's going to you know, stay on there. So just going to place it on there and then I just went in with my alligator clip and squeezed those two together using my alligator clip so I didn't mess up the shape of the shell too much. Okay, and then now we are going to attach the end of this headpiece to the bottom of the shell and then that will give it that shape that we're looking for. So it's just going to go right at the middle. Right, I'm doing it right before the middle piece of the um, body. Because you want it to curl a little bit. Flatten it. Reshape our body there. And then we're going to attach it to our legs. I did that a little, I need to do that a little farther. Redo. I'm just going to unattach that if I can. Yeah. Pull that back off. It needs to go a little farther back. So I judged that a little wrong. So you want to go all the way, probably right to the middle of that piece right there. There we go. That's going to be better. His neck was a little too long that way. Now we can reshape our shell here. He's falling apart. Once you have it all glued together, he's going to stay how you want him. Okay, that's better. And now we're just going to add some glue to the middle of our legs here. And then place the turtle. You just decide which side you want to be the front. And then place the shell right in the middle. Press down.
and there's the turtle. Now all that's left is to add it to the clip and I chose to put it on a white alligator clip. If you're gonna do it sideways like I did, you just wanna make sure um, which way your alligator clip is opening, which will depend on the side of the side you put clips on of your head. So for this one, you would put it on the right side of your hair so that he faces out the right way. But if you were gonna put it on the left side, then you would just turn your clip this way. So I'm gonna go ahead and glue, attach him to here. And you could attach him this way or um, you know this way, or you could attach him to a different kind of clip, but this is just the way that I chose to do it. So I'm just gonna add some glue right to the middle of the alligator clip. And then just stick them down on there. Squish them a little bit again. And there you have it. Cute little turtle for spring. And I just think these are really cute. Not too hard, just a couple little steps. Once you get the hang of it, it's really simple. And um, what little girl wouldn't like this cute little turtle in their hair? So um, good luck making this. Um, don't forget to leave a comment and like um, the video if you enjoy it. And then subscribe for more tutorials. Thanks for watching. See you next time.